What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video, we are talking about setting up custom audibles for our defense and how to save your settings and all that uh, jibber jabber that goes in the beginning of the game. What you want to do before you get into the game, uh, this is what you want to do. So, for the example today, we're going to be basing our custom audibles out of the Atlanta playbook on defense. It's my personal uh, playbook that I like to run. But obviously you would want to do this for whatever playbook you're going to use. What you want to do is you want to load in the game and then you want to hit L1 one time. It's going to bring you over to this menu and you're going to go to coaching options. You're going to go to customize playbooks. And since we're talking about defense today, we want to go to over one with R1. To create a defensive playbook, we want to select the Atlanta playbook. And then we're going to proceed to set up our five sets for success audible. Now, what I, as I've talked about before, I like to have um, different kind of purposes for each formation, but I like to have uh, a lot of formations in my uh, to my disposal. That's why I like the Atlanta playbook. Uh, it's the most four three formations, uh, etc. But anyways, the audibles I like to set are the four three odd under Sam Sharp three for my strong right zone blitz. I like to set up the uh, wheel punch three seam for my strong left zone blitz. I like to leave the edge sting for my man blitz. And I like to set up the uh, cover three for my inverted cover two run defense. Okay, so that's how I like to set up my base formation. And I, as you guys know, I like to come out in the four three odd cover three buzz out of Miami or Oakland's playbook. Uh, for this uh, sample though, I just want to show you how to use multiple formations. And uh, I like to, obviously, if I don't have the cover three buzz, I'll probably come out in the mic will cross. For my 4-3 over, what we like to do is we like to establish some dominant tendencies. So, for example, if your opponent is set on running toss every single time, this is where we set the uh, CB dog zone. This is one of the best toss defenses in the game. And then if your opponent is always set on running in the middle, we like to set the smoke mid zone because it's a really good middle run defense. If your opponent, and then obviously we have our standard, our zone blitz to the left, and our inverted cover two run defense to the right. Um, a lot of things are accomplished with this formation, but it's mainly kind of that strong, really, really strong uh, left run and those two tendencies if they're running outside a lot or in the middle. And then we always have our inverted cover three or inverted cover two run defense. From our 4-3 over odd, I like to set up the 4-3 over odd, the weak slant three. This is a very good, strong right run defense. Uh, it, it also serves a, a purpose with the with the under Sam Shark three because it's a very good um, it's a very good pass defense. But it gets different parts that the under Sam Shark three zone blitz doesn't. So it's very good for those reasons. Um, our strong left zone blitz, our strong left run defense is the strong slant three. And then instead of putting in a man blitz, I like to two two different types of zones from here. I like the cover three buzz, as you guys know, and see when I run this playbook, I actually come out in the cover three buzz. So for this example, I'm just gonna put the cover three cloud in its place, but I will come out in the four three override. And then I like to set the cover three. So I have two different types of cover threes. This cover three cloud is pretty good for outside runs to the right, and uh, also for different uh, shorter routes. And this cover three is better for the deeper, deeper routes because the zones are going a little bit deeper, okay? And then the 4-3 over plus, I like to have, this is what I call having a base, having a base, uh, being able to call all the basic coverages. So I like to set cover four. Uh, I like to set cover three. But since I have so many other cover threes, I put the cover six in there. I like to set the cover two sink, and then I have the cover two man as my quick audible up. So that's how I like to set that up. And then from the 4-3 stack, the only things that we, we haven't talked about is having uh, dominant uh, different t different types of blitzes and, and one the we have a lot of cover three blitzes the four three stack is my cover two blitz formation and uh, as you'll see here I like to set the uh, thunder smoke two as my middle uh, as my r1 blitz and then my man blitz complement is the thunder smoke this is a blitz that sends seven guys so this is something that you need to make sure you save for the right time my other cover two blitz is the will to fire and then I have the uh, I like the CB dog zone as well 
So have all of these plays and uh, a pretty good combination of plays here for you guys. Uh, but just a, just a quick video here. Wanted to talk about setting up your audibles, and then also what you want to do is you want to hit options button on PS4. You want to save your playbook. So we're going to use the uh, Atlanta playbook, but since we already have one, we're going to make a new one, and we're just going to call it Atlanta Two. Okay, and we're going to save that by hitting the options button again. And now we can set this up in our settings so that we can save it so that every time we get into the game, we have those two playbooks. And so we want to go over to the settings or the help and settings menu. We want to go into settings, game options, and here you can select your favorite team. Uh, and then we can scroll over to our ATL2 playbook and our offense and there you see will be saved and PS4 auto saves so that's a really nice feature so anyways guys just wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, give you guys a quick run through on how to set your audibles up and uh, once again I want to also remind you guys to follow me on Twitter at bandtips365 and engage with me in discussion there uh, it's a lot easier for me to get back with you on Twitter so uh, definitely hit me up there if you guys want to talk some more about Madden and more about your plays and stuff like that but this is just kind of my personal audibles and kind of showing you how I go about implementing the five sets for success in my playbook out of a lot of formations so thanks for your time today guys I hope the video was beneficial if it was please uh, share this video on Twitter and leave a like rating below thank you for your time today guys and if you have any questions problems suggestions related to this video, then please let me know in the comments. Have a great day.